Hello, welcome to a tutorial video for the Strike and Dip Virtual Reality Tool. Today I will be covering the menus. The main menu can be opened and closed by pressing the B or Y buttons. To interact with the menus, place a finger on the joystick to activate the selection pointer. Direct the pointer at the menu and pull the trigger button to activate the selection. This is the main menu. This displays the strike data saved to the currently active data set. This displays the dip data saved to the currently active data set. This is the Save Strike button. When this button is pressed, the orientation of the compass tool is used to save strike data into the currently active data set. This is the Save Dip button. When this button is pressed, the orientation of the compass tool is used to save dip data into the currently active data set. This displays the currently active data set number. Clicking the arrow buttons on either side of this number will change which data set is currently active. All data sets can be viewed in the data window, which I will cover at a later point in this video. This displays the tour stop number for the tour stop location that the user is currently at. Click the arrow buttons on either side of this number to teleport to the next tour stop location or the previous tour stop location. Clicking the tabs on the bottom and corners of the main menu will open up additional menus. To open the data menu, click the data menu tab. The data menu displays the saved strike and dip measurements for each data set in the current level. The currently active data set will be highlighted in green. The currently active data set can be changed by clicking on any data set or by clicking the next set and previous set arrow buttons on the main menu or by clicking the next and previous arrow buttons at the bottom of the data menu. Clicking the display full data or display short data buttons will alter the presentation of the data saved in each data set. When short data is displayed, the strike value will be displayed as a three digit horizontal bearing value between zero and 360 degrees. And the dip value will be displayed as a two digit vertical angle value from 0 to 90 degrees. When full data is displayed, the strike value will be displayed as a three-digit horizontal bearing value between 0 and 360 degrees, followed by letters representing the compass cardinal direction of that measurement, such as N for north or E for east. And the dip value will be displayed as a two-digit vertical angle value from 0 to 90 degrees followed by letters representing the compass cardinal direction of that measurement, such as N for north or E for east, followed by a three-digit horizontal bearing value between zero and 360 degrees. Once strike and dip measurements have been saved to a data set, the draw data and clear drawn data buttons will appear at the bottom of the data window. On the left, the draw data button will draw arrows along the measurements for the currently active data set. The clear drawn data button will remove these arrows. To open the world map menu, click the world map menu tab. The world map menu displays a bird's eye view map of the current level, an icon representing the user's current position and the direction they are currently facing, and map markers indicating the location of tour stops or field map stations around the map. This menu also displays the tour guide panel. This panel displays information about the current tour stop location that the user is at, as well as arrow buttons, which allow the user to teleport to the next stop and previous stop location. When strike and dip measurements are saved to a data set, a strike and dip symbol is placed at the corresponding location and direction on the world map. These symbols look similar to an uppercase T. The world map menu will contain additional panels and functionality for field map levels. They will also contain a rock type panel, which displays the names of the rock types present at the field stations on that map. Clicking on field station map markers will open a drop down menu, allowing the user to select the name of the rock type present at that field station. Selecting a rock type from this drop-down menu will change the color of the map marker to match the corresponding rock type's color. 
On field maps using slope cubes, this will also change the color of the slope cube found at the location of the corresponding field station. To open the Home menu, click the Home menu tab. The Home menu contains submenus which can be accessed using the tabs on the side of this menu. The About submenu contains general information about the Strike and Dip virtual reality program as well as development information, such as this program's build number, the last time this program was updated, and the platform this program is currently built for. The settings submenu contains options settings. The button maps on off buttons will activate or disable the functionality of the hovering button menu guides. The credits submenu contains information about the development team responsible for creating this program. To open the tools menu, click the tools menu tab. The Return Strike and Dip Example Set button will place the Strike and Dip Example Set tool in front of the user. The Return Compass Tool button will place the Compass Tool in front of the user. The Return Beginner Tool button will place the Beginner Tool in front of the user. The Place Scaffold Platform button will place a scaffold platform below the user's current location. The Remove Scaffold Platforms button will remove all scaffold platforms currently in the level. For additional information and demonstrations on each of these tools, visit the link to the Strike and Dip Tools tutorial video in the description below. To open the Level Select menu, click the Level Select menu tab. The Level Select menu contains buttons for each level currently included in the program. Hovering the selection pointer over a level button will display the name of that level and information about that level at the bottom of the Level Select menu. Clicking on a Level button will load the corresponding level. To open the Info menu, click the Info menu tab. The Info menu displays names and information about menu items. To view information about a menu item, hover the selection pointer over that item while the Info menu is open. This will display the name of the item and information about it on the Info menu.